Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Dude, it's fucking football Sunday, bro. Dude, I'm just chilling back with my boys. Dude, we're drinking beers, dude. We're eating nachos, dude. We're just getting fat, bro. We're just watching football and getting fat, doc. Yeah, I was, uh... I was watching a little bit of football this morning, you know, watched the, uh, the San Diego Char- I mean, LA Chargers. My boy, Philip Rivers. Yeah, they lost. Uh, it's a pretty sad game, you know? They, uh, fumbled. Fumbled when they are about to score a touchdown. And, uh, threw an interception instead of a touchdown. And, uh, missed two field goals. It's like, oop- oopsies. Oopsies. Only scored ten points. But probably should have scored like 27 points. Oopsies. So they lost to the Lions, which, uh, you know, probably the worst team in football, except for maybe the Browns. I think the Browns and the Lions probably have the worst uh, worst football, football teams ever, you know. But so, uh, you know, basically, I don't know if you're a Chargers fan. I've, I guess think we should probably just, uh, you know, just lose all the rest of the games. Just just go 1-15. That way we can get some draft picks, you know, maybe next year. Get some good draft picks, you know. Maybe get a new quarterback, you know. Phillip Rivers kind of old. He's kind of an old man. He always chokes in the playoffs, you know. Never should have gotten rid of Drew Brees. Drew Brees, my boy Drew Brees. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I woke up this morning. There was uh, there was some ants going through my trash, man. They had a whole, you know, they had the, the whole line, man. There was a bunch of ants going through my trash, and they're lining up outside the door, you know. All, all their friends are like, hey, everybody over here, let's go through this. It's right over here, guys. And all the other ants are like, okay, let's go over there. Do, 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 do. Which was, uh, it was pretty surprising for me because I don't, I don't remember throwing any, anything away that was edible. I don't know. Maybe some, um, I don't know, maybe some, I had some cheese or something. I don't know, a little bit of, uh, you know, it was weird too. I had a dish out with like a bunch of, uh, bunch of grease on there and they didn't even go for that. They were, I don't know, they didn't find it, I guess. They're going through my trash. And it's also weird, too, because my, my room's, like, on the second floor over in the corner here. And I'm like, how the fuck did the ants get way up here, you know? So, like, I followed the the assembly line or whatever. It goes all the way out my door. It goes out the hallway down to the steps where they're crawling up the wall. And it goes, like, into the fireplace and back down and like into the into the living room and then into the kitchen. I kept following this. God, it's like 100 feet, their, their supply line there. And I finally get to it, and then there's a huge fucking one going in the kitchen trash can. I'm just like, oh, God, we're being invaded. We're being invaded, you know? So I uh, I sprayed I sprayed the line there with some uh, OxyClean. It's, uh, it's good for getting stains out of your shirts. It also kills ants. Uh, yeah, God, spent like a half an hour, like, just fucking destroying the ant supply line there. Then, uh, God, there's so many of them in the kitchen, they're going after that trash. Like, what are we supposed to do? We can't throw away, we can't throw away any food waste? What are we supposed to do with that, you know? Anyway, I just put the, I put the trash can outside, you know, so hopefully. God, I'm ants, man. What are they doing up here, man? You can't just be crawling up the walls, crawling up the stairs. I'm on the second floor, God damn it. Oh, anyway, uh. Did you guys watch any interesting TV shows this week? Uh, I watched, uh, I have Amazon Prime, so I watched this TV show called The Boys. The Boys, my boys. Philip River is my boy. Later tonight, I'm going to a party at my boy's house. Fucking Chad's gonna be there, dude. Staunch is gonna be there, dude. Rory's not coming because he's got pneumonia because he just can't handle his fucking beers, dude, you know? It's gonna be sick, bro. It's gonna be sick. There we got. We're getting a keg, dude. Dude, we're getting a keg. I'm renting a donkey. We're gonna have fucking dude cold cuts, dude, from Costco, dude. I got one of them party platters, bro. We're gonna have. I'm gonna get some fucking strippers too, dude. It's we're gonna get a bounce house, dude. Just gonna get one of those bounce houses, just get drunk, just fucking throw up in the bounce house, dude. Just down shots of tequila, then go in the bounce house and just fucking throw up all over the strippers and the donkey. 
uh, God, I can't, even, I can't even remember what I was talking about here. Uh, oh yeah, The Boys, TV show The Boys. Okay, so uh, spoiler alert: if you haven't seen The Boys on Amazon and you don't want to, you don't want any spoilers, maybe maybe just turn off the podcast now, you know. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was a pretty good show. You know, it was the first good show on Amazon. Amazon's full of uh, terrible shows. You know, as I uh, as I reviewed before once on the podcast. You know, Amazon Prime is kind of like Netflix, except all the su- shows suck. So I think this is the first first show that was decent. It was decent. You know, there was just a couple like small errors that just made it just didn't make any sense at all. And just kind of, you know, I don't know. It was still good overall, but it's just like, I don't understand how these fucking $100 million productions can just let these like small errors that are just not even, they're not even difficult to fix. They just don't even, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. You know? Like the very okay, so they kill this superhero right in the second episode. In the first episode, they're fighting him right, and um, they're just like punching him right, and they can, you know, the main character he's just like punching him, and then in the second episode, it, it's like he talks about how his skin is invincible, and they shoot him with this fucking, with this like you know carbon fiber bullet and a sniper rifle, like at you know one foot range, you know, and it just bounces off of him, and no impact, there's no, there's no gravitation, you know, there's no force, there's no energy, it doesn't even move his body back or anything like that, and it didn't even hurt him, he just laughs it off, you know, a sniper, a sniper round, a carbon fiber sniper round, fired at point blank range, and this fucking huge ass gun, doesn't even, doesn't even stun him, but in the episode before that, a punch, like, the, the main character was punching him. And the whole, the whole, the whole thing didn't even really make sense, because the main character guy, he just, the bearded guy, his name's uh, Butch or whatever, he just tries to, he's trying to kill the guy with a crowbar. It's like, he had, he had to have known he was invincible. Why is he trying to kill him with a crowbar? That doesn't make any sense. In the second episode, you're shooting him with a sniper rifle and it doesn't even hurt him. And you know he's got this invincible skin. So why were you trying to kill him with a crowbar in the first episode? That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, it made sense to the audience when we didn't know he was invincible. But then in the second episode, when we learn he's invincible, it kind of doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah? <sighs> anyway, that kind of that kind of bothered me. You know. And then there's also this one scene where the uh, the main character, Huey, he uh, he gets he gets dunked in the like he's trying to blackmail this guy with a video on his cell phone and he gets dunked in the water so then when he tries to go show him the video on his cell phone it doesn't work because you know he went underwater and his cell phone's full of water and so he's like has to improvise you know and then the very next scene he's using his cell phone to make a phone call it's like well how come how why does it why did his cell phone just start working five seconds later you you just established that it didn't that it was broken you just spent t- 10 minutes to establish that his cell phone was broken in the pool. And in the very next scene, he's making a call on the cell phone. Hey, I got an idea. How about you cut that scene so the whole fucking thing makes sense? Hey, 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 maybe don't include a scene that makes your goddamn cool TV show make no fucking sense at all. You know. And then uh, there's this other scene where like, at the end of episode seven, there, the second to last episode, the uh, the main character, he uh, Huey, he's trying to hook up with the superhero girl, Starlight, right? And they like got in a fight because she found out that he's secretly, he's secretly working for a different group, trying to get rid of the superheroes. So she's all pissed off. She's like, "You told me you love me. Why don't you love me?" And he's like, "Baby, baby, I can explain. I love you." I just did it because they killed my other girlfriend. Baby, I need you so. I need you in my life. I'm so lonely without you. You know, they're doing this kind of scene. And then, like... And then, like, all of a sudden, she just gets shot. The, uh... She gets shot in the chest by by Huey's friend, Butcher, who's the other main character. He just shoots her in the chest for no fucking reason. I didn't, it didn't really make any sense. I remember when I was watching that, I was like, what, what the fuck's going on? Why is... Why did they just shoot her? They're trying to recruit her to, you know, help them. He's trying to tell her, baby, baby, I love you. 
and then his friend just shoots her in the chest, and then he runs off with his friend? I don't... That didn't make any sense at all. Why did they... When I was watching, I was like, am I... Did I... Did I smoke too much weed here? What's going on? Am I, am I imagining this? What's going on here? And the next episode, they just don't even fucking explain it at all. Or, like, she doesn't even care at all. Like, the next time she sees her boyfriend, she's... They don't even mention the fact that the last time they met, she, she got shot in the chest by her, by her friend. I mean, can you imagine that happening, you know? It's like you go... You're trying to go make up with your girlfriend, so you go meet at the Chili's, you know? And you're in the, you're in the parking lot, and then your buddy is, uh... Uh, just shoots her twice in the chest with a sniper rifle, and you say, "Oh, sorry, babe. Uh, let's make up later." And then he, and then you walk off with your friend that just shot her in the chest. And then, and then the next time you see her, you're just like, "Oh, baby, you love me, right?" And she's like, "Yeah, I love you." And you never mention the part about your friend shooting her in the chest in the Chili's parking lot. I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all. Why, why, why do they even have that scene? They could have ended it, you know, any other way that made sense. I don't understand, man. Anyway, besides those, uh, besides those three uh, glaring fucking what the fuck were they thinking holes, I think it's a it's a pretty good series. It's pretty funny. It's entertaining, interesting. Check it out. Check it out, dude. Shit, fucking check it out, dude. And the ending, the ending was kind of messed up too. The ending kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil. Well, I guess I already spoiled everything, but. Uh, Oh, the ending, the ending there, you know, Butcher, he just fucking, he wasted his last eight years of his life because his girl, his wife fucking cheated on him because she was a dumb whore, and then she lied about it. She che he thought, he thought she got raped and murdered, but the fact is she cheated on him and left him, and now his whole life is a lie, dude. What if your whole life is a lie, man? What if this podcast is a lie? That little cutie podcast is a lie. You wasted your whole life listening to this. You know, anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.